So we got the new Sirocco 219 that Ozone just came out with. Um, it was a glider that we actually requested that they come out with. As you guys know, the Sirocco 2, when it came out, only went down to a 22 meter size. I had the original Sirocco one, which was a really fantastic, amazing glider. And um, so when Ozone came out with the Sirocco 2, we were a little bit disappointed that they didn't come out with the 19 size. So we asked them if they would be willing to go ahead and do that. We've had a lot of people ask about a 19. And sure enough, they did. We just got this one in today. We're super excited. And this will be our first flight, and I think probably the first flight post-production on an Ozone Sirocco 219. It's so pretty and, and purple. And purple. And, and this is new too. Check it out, guys. New color for the riser bag. So amazing. <laughs> baby blue. It is. It's lovely. The, uh, the inner bag is also baby blue. One of the and things I see my, my friend Eric's gonna lay out right on top of me here. It was kind of my plan. <laughs> but I, I wanted just to address something because we've talked about it in our in our written reviews and stuff about the Sirocco 2 is that one of the biggest areas of need that we see consistently with pilots and our past students and stuff is as they're advancing is an intermediate wing that's more than an intermediate, that's less than an expert. And yeah. the Sirocco 1, especially the 19 size, really dialed that in. It was such a First off, it was a joy to fly. It was a joy to fly and it was so stable. Yes, yeah, so stable. And it was so easy to launch because that lightweight yeah. fabric. But the only area where it failed was his efficiency. It was, mm -hmm. it dove a lot. It would eat a lot of altitude and aerobatics. And that's why when we moved the Viper and the free ride, we we're like, oh my God, it's amazing. <laughs> but it, obviously those more expert level wings are way less efficient. So, yep. or way less safe and stable. One of the things I'm excited about the 19 for, now this is a 22. I've flown extensively the 22 in thermals mm -hmm. and the 24 and the 26 and I'm blown away by just how stable they are there. So I think of the 19 for lighter weight pilots that don't have all the beer that I do, uh, <laughs> I think that guys like you <laughs> yeah, will be able to be a lot more confident on that and have some more stability. So I'm stoked for that. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, this has got the shark nose profile that the Sirocco one didn't have. Yep. And uh, like Eric said, for guys that are my size, I've flown the Sirocco 222 and it was just too big. It's a honestly. boat! <laughs> um, I'm really happy they came out with this size. So we're going to go check it out let you guys know what we think. Yeah. The 19 was awesome. It was, um, I'm used to flying a, a much smaller glider, like a 15 free ride, and I was astounded, even at my weight, I only weigh 130 pounds, um, on how responsive that glider actually was. Um, the trim range from, I took off at the white line, um, I did a nice easy forward, came up just as easy as the free ride 15, um, and trims all the way out, holy crap. It really, you let them all the way out, and I bet you I gained 10 to 15 miles an hour just off the bat, and I tried to bring up the GPS, and it was about that. It was hard to tell, um, but yeah, it, it really, it really did what um, what, it's, what it's advertised to do. For somebody who's looking to go from a spider, but then they say, "I just want the you know the next thing," um, but you, they still do cross countries. This is that way. This thing is it's unreal. It handles very, very well, um, and the speed range is really, really nice. So if you're if you're taking off in no wind, you got that white line. But if it's super high wind, you can take out trims out. Um, and as far as stability too, when I flew it, it was getting bumpy. Um, and even on very low wing loading like I had it, it was super stable. All right, so first impressions on the 19. First impressions on the 19, I can only compare it to the original Sirocco one. The efficiency is at least 30% more than the Sirocco one. Wow. Um, it's still super fun. It's uh, obviously this air, guys, it's super bumpy. It's turbulent. I mean, it's, right it's five o'clock like, in the afternoon. We normally don't fly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like four hours before sunset, and there's convection yeah. everywhere. But I, I'll tell you what, it was actually quite confidence inspiring. Like, I at never at any point did I feel like unsafe. The the feedback is super intuitive through the through the brakes, just like the Sirocco one, but it does gain that efficiency that we didn't have with that wing. Um, 
I will definitely want to tie in the 2D. Yes, um, it definitely needs that. We love 2D. It's amazing. It's yeah. a whole different way to fly. Uh, and I missed that, but wow, I try it, dude. It's I'm nice. going to swap with you right now. <laughs> I, I will say this, coming back to the 22, which I've flown before, and I've flown the Speedster too, the non-light version, a lot more. It is so amazing, like truly amazing, to see the length of these trimmers. Yeah, like, they're huge. <laughs> you're like, I, mean, I, I actually trimmed down. I was like, whoa. I feel like I'm fun to do I that forgot. again. It's awesome. And yeah. that's the one thing that I kind of miss about flying different brand gliders. I, everything else about those, though, and I prefer, honestly, right now, is my favorite glider is the, is the free ride. But they work so hard with most of Ozone's high end expert level wings to really taper back the speed range on the trims to put it in the speed bar where it's actually safer. Right. Um, and this wing, because it's already fairly benign and safe as an, as an intermediate advanced wing, a C rated wing they're able to get that speed range. Right. And the yeah. speed range is just fabulous. So uh, not have to dump, dump bar to go an extra 15 miles an hour. Right. Or whatever it That's is. That's nice. Big win. No doubt. So. All right, my turn. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right. Well, we just got back, Eric. You had a chance to try this Rocco T19. What are your thoughts? It's everything we thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, can say I feel much more loaded than I thought the three square meter difference would make. Mm -hmm. I, even when comparing like a free ride 15 versus a uh, free ride 18 or 19 or 17, even a two meter difference is massive. This three meter difference feels like a completely different glider design. Mm -hmm. uh, very pressurized through all my maneuvers. I had no issue with any kind of deflationary feeling, even though we're flying in massive thermals. Uh, in fact, Travis had some fun in one. It, was, it gets nuts out here in the summertime. Yeah. Uh, but I have to say, speed range is perfect. Brake pressure is optimal. It's um, nice. It really is that smooth, gradual pull. I tried playing with the tips some. Definitely have to tie those in for 2D for our kind of freestyle flying. I think that it's the perfect wing for two people. Someone between 160 and then 200 pounds. Mm -hmm that uh, wants to either do acro, um, big intermediate, uh, you know, wing overs, barrel rolls, that kind of thing. And I think it's the perfect glider for cross country pilots. No, I think um, that's, that's correct. Cross yeah. country is going to be great. I mean, we saw Trey German do it in the Icarus uh, and he's done very well with that. I think we're going to see a lot of more pilots already pick this up because it launches so effortlessly mm -hmm. and that speed range is just massive. So. I'm stoked. I'm glad that they finally I made know. it. I'm so happy they did it. Thank you, it. Amelia, and everyone yes, else at Ozone. <laughs> um, it's it's I definitely. Think you guys are gonna love this glider. It's really it really rounds out the whole line. It on does. Morocco. Yep. Super quality. Um, if anybody wants to come try it, give us a call. And other than that, if you are a pilot that has about 100 to 150 hours, you would advance the normal rate. Uh, this could be a glider that's right for you. If you're a, we, we, what was the word we just came up with? Advanced or immediate? Advanced or immediate. Advanced or immediate uh, yeah. or, or in, intervanced? Intervanced. 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 <laughs> intervanced. I like that. Intervanced. So if you're an intervanced glider, you know, you're, you're coming off of a spider, you're coming off of a universal, something along those lines, you're looking to bring it up to the next level, start really building the energy in your maneuvers, and still have something that's a rated glider that's going to keep you fairly safe. Um, as an advanced pilot, this is not a safe wing. Uh, I think this is a fantastic choice. Yeah. So awesome. Thank you guys. High five. It was fun. <laughs>